no return type and no parameter. No return type means we have to write void. So I will write whether the given number is prime number or not. Prime. So I am defining the function as prime. So since it is not having any parameters, I will not write any parameters inside the function. Inside the function. Now here inside. I will declare n comma i. I am writing the program to check whether the given number is a prime number or not. To check the given number is a prime number or not. So I am entering the value of n. Entering the value of n, I am reading by using the scanf. Scanf state C. Address of n. So we have seen this prime number. I, I, I will be taking from 2. I will be taking from 2. So what is the prime number? A prime number is 1 which is divisible by 1 and itself. So since 1 divides all the numbers, so I will start from 2. I will start from 2. So here I will start from 2. I less than or equal to n. I plus plus. I plus plus. So here if n modulus i. n modulus i is equal to 0 n modulus i is equal to 0, then you stop. Don't continue the division. If it is not 0, then i plus plus, then you divide. If it is not 0, then i plus plus, then you divide. When the number n is divisible by i, then you stop. Then we come to know that n is divisible by some number. Now, here we check. Break means come outside of the for loop. Here we check whether the given number is divisible by itself. That is, n is equal to i. If both are same, then you print that. Print that the given number is a prime number. So n is a prime number. N is prime number. Otherwise, else print a <coughs> n is not a prime number. N is not a prime number. This is the function I have written. In this function, what I am doing, I am writing the code to check whether the given number is a prime number or not. So which number I am checking? I am entering the value in this function itself. Enter the value of n. So here I am starting from 2. I am starting from 2. 2. So n modulus 2. If it is 0, break. So you are coming outside. If it is 0, then you are checking whether n and i. That means it is divisible by itself. What is the prime number? A prime number is 1 which is divisible by 1 and itself, but here I am starting from 2 itself, 2. So if n is equal to i, then I will print that n is a prime number, otherwise n is not a prime number. If it is not divisible, where the control will go? It will go to i plus plus, i plus plus, i less than or equal to n. So you are continuing the loop, loop control structure. When, the, when it is divisible, n is divisible by i, then break. Break will take the control outside of the loop. If n is equal to i, that means n is divisible by itself. Itself, then we say that n is a prime number. Otherwise, we say that n is not a prime number. Now I will write the main function. Int main. Now I will call the function prime. So I want to check a number. So I will enter. I will directly call the function. Prime. Right. Statement of the function will be return zero. Return zero. In main function, just I am calling the function prime. Prime. So when the program is executed, we know that main function is always executed first. What is the first statement? The first statement is prime. So the control will come here, will come here and it will execute the statements of this prime function. Prime function. So what is the statement here? Enter n. We will enter the value of n. This is the code for checking whether the given number is prime or not. So here I am discussing the first type. What is the first type? No return type. No return type means void. Without parameters means empty parentheses. Empty parentheses. So here I will just print a message that it is a first type of function. It is a first type of function. No return type. And no parameter. Parameters are also called as arguments. In some of the textbook, the parameters are also called as arguments. Both are same. 
both are same. Now I will run the program. So I want to demonstrate no return type and no parameter. No para parameter by using the prime number to check the given number is prime number or not. So I will run the program. So after printing this statement, I am calling the function. Control comes here. Now I will, now I will enter whether 5 is a prime number or not. 5 is a prime number or not. So 5 is prime. 5 is prime. Now one second I will run. Now enter 9. 9 is a prime number or not? So 9 is not a prime number. Why 9 is not a prime number? Because 9 is divisible by 3. Since 9 is divisible by 3, break will take the control outside of the loop. So here we are comparing 9 is equal to 3. The condition is false. The control will come here. The control will come here and it will print that percentage D. That means 9 is not a prime number. 9 is not a prime number. Now I will run. I will take the input 15. 15 is not a prime number. Why 15 is not a prime number? Because 15 is also divisible by 3. When I value is 3, then the control will come outside. So since 15 is equal to 3, con condition is false. So it will print that. 5, 15 is not a prime number. Now I will take 19. 19. 19 is a prime number because 19, the divisible of 19 is I. I When I becomes 19, then only the condition will be true. 19 modulus 19 is equal to 0. Break. The control will come outside. 19 is equal to 19. Yes, print F. 19 is a prime number. 19 is a prime number. So in this program, I have demonstrated no return type and no parameter, no parameter. So no return type means the function should return. Here we have to write as y. Here no parameters means empty set of parentheses. Empty set of parentheses. 